It's been confirmed. Did you hear the news? Well, I mean, see the news? What news? Blue balls! Did you see? Jar Jar actually has blue balls, and I am so excited over this news. I am so confused over this. Why would they depict his blue balls, though? Pretty sure that's not something that's like actually a th like i don't think that balls actually turn blue from what i understand it's just a feeling from when like you know you well in the movie don't... he swings his blue balls around he what he swings his blue balls around he actually uses them as a weapon you know, I've never been a Star Wars fan, but now I'm sort of excited. Can we go watch Star Wars? Yeah, he actually puts them in a sack. His blue balls. How big are and these things? They're pretty big. He swings it around and he tosses them and he destroys battle droids with his blue balls. What's he eating to get them that big? You don't have to eat anything to get them that big. It's pent up frustration. Anyway, Jar Jar has his blue balls and he swings them around in a sack and he blows up battle droids. And look, you're not gonna believe this. It's depicted in Funko Pop form now. See, look at his mouth. That's exactly what I look like when I have blue balls too, Jar Jar. I got my big horse teeth hanging out of my mouth. Is it like this? Yeah, I mean, they gave him the greatest face ever. Why this Funko Pop hasn't been made until this point, I don't know. But the, yeah, it looks like that guy, like a duck. He's got like duck face. And he's swinging his blue balls around. But I, I just want to know, like, why did it take so long to get it? This is the greatest Fungo Pop ever made! Like, we all deserve this Fungo Pop. And by the way, this is not what we talked about yesterday. This is not what we talked about yesterday. These are Target exclusive, uh, the, the comic book, whatever, retro figures. What do you think about these Fungo Pops, Heather? You have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Queen Amidala, Darth Maul, by the way, we're getting that Queen Amidala. That's badass. You know what's really weird about her is she looks like Natalie Portman. That was Natalie Portman. I know, but like the pop looks like Natalie Portman. It looks Portman. like Natalie Portman for, like, actually looks like her. Yeah. Is that weird? Like, it really looks like Natalie Portman. Is it normal for disc trackers and Funko Finders to team up and put their logo all over everything? Does that ever happen? I don't know if I've ever seen it with both of their logos. How do we get the Gasocast logo just in there somewhere? Uh, just hit them up. That? Yeah, ask them, and then they'll probably say no. The Gasocast logo should be on the blue ball. They often watermark their stuff, though, because there are other people out there that like to steal their pictures. What? And then claim that it's theirs, probably. All right, out of this lineup, the one I really just do not care for at all, Darth Maul. Not into it. I'm just not into this Darth Maul. I like the rest of them, but the Darth Maul is just weird. Why don't you like him, and why are you cool with Obi-Wan Kenobi and his rat tail? Obi-Wan, that's not a rat tail. What is it? That's his little Padawan hair. He has like a little, that's what, that when you're a Padawan, you have a small like little tassel. A rat tail. It's not a rat tail. It hangs off the side of the head. It's not on the very back where a rat tail would be. It does what the f it's the same it's not thing. A no, it's not a rat tail. You're a rat tail. No. No, you know what? You're a, a Padawan. You're there. a rat butthole. That's what you are. Your hands are hey, really warm. Hey, I'm telling Please. you. No. I am. I don't know no. why they're so cold. No. Here. It's like it's winter. That is not helping. I brought that specifically for this video. By the way, we will be giving one of these away during our Star Wars Google Meet call for Patreon. Somebody will be getting... Guess what that one is? One of these. That's Saturday, April 14th. We're doing a whole Star Wars theme because of May the 4th. Check out Patreon at patreon.com slash gasocast to find out more. Wait, I'm not done. You know what else is on May the 4th? our anniversary. I know. And guess what? I'm going to look just like Jar Jar up there on my, on my anniversary night. Got, got that mouth open and I'm slinging a couple of blue balls. Guess what? We're also going to make it a Heather and Chris giveaway and you can have a lock of my hair or some of Chris's beard hair. That is f***ing weird. Why Wouldn't would you even say weird? that? would that That would be f***ing weird so jar jar has a little it's not a sack it's like a it's like a it's like band. a slingshot it's like a sling it's it slinging those, his balls around it reminds me of those rubber things that you yes the gym where you make people yeah. work out with them well you work out i almost said make out but yeah you work out with them you could probably and make you can out make out too does this look good yeah it looks hot does it look like jar you look jar. like one of those like uh celebrities that just does like, it look pump like jar their jar. lips up way too big 
Yeah, you look like Jar Jar. Thank yeah, you. Of I like that. Yeah. That's the biggest compliment now I've ever received. Now swing around your f***ing blue balls. So what do we think about this set? I like it. I think it's great. I don't like the rat tail. If I, if, if, no, if you decide to get that, I will be breaking it off. I am only getting Jar Jar and I might have to buy several for every room inside of the house. Him swinging around his blue balls. And then when we have guests or family over and they're asking, why do you have a Jar Jar here? I'm going to say, do you see his blue balls? I like that. Especially Look, the grandparents. Um, at Gasselcast, the blue balls. And there's a reply. Oh, it's you. Normally, I'm not a fan of blue balls. In this instance, I'm a huge fan. Gasselcast, and they put little blue balls. Dr. J underscore pops. That's pretty cool. I mean, we're getting a lot of love here. People are saying they're going to wait for it to be on clearance. You're being tagged, I mean, but Chris, under your old Chris account. Gasly, I don't even use that anymore. Other than single-handedly getting Drop.io to change the Zordon Redeemable, this is the most significant moment in Chris Gasly's role as an influencer. Now, as new viewers of this channel, if you're here for the very first time, we did change the Zordon Funko Pop. We really did. And there is video evidence of somebody who worked on the NFT program at Funko telling us that. Confirming. Look at this. At Gasocast, now we got two blue balls. Yeah. Thank you. Someone just called them shelf warmers. They're not shelf warmers. Yeah. They're, hey, they're blue balls. Hey, guess warmers. what? you. Yeah, that's right. Somebody had their comment blocked or hidden. When do these come out? I don't know. Why is it when people ask when they're coming out, it gets blocked? That I don't understand. It makes no sense to me at all. Yeah. But we got blue balls in the building, and I can't tell you how excited I am about this. This is a moment in Funko history that we all need to remember together. And now to our second story. By the way, this isn't a WTF video. This is us talking about news. Did anybody realize that these were out today? No. Did you have any clue that this happened? No. Because I had no clue until I went to Funko.com and I found this was on there and now they have pre-orders up or not, not even pre-orders. So they got a lottery set up so you could possibly win to buy one of these for $300. And I have yet to see a, a comment here where somebody actually cares about them. Now, if you remember on the last one, the Bob's Big Boy one, basically... Uh, I think it was Funko came out or Mike Becker came out and said they had a ton of people pre-ordering yes, the figure 000. or trying to get they're trying to buy the figure. I want to read some of these. This is what you buy when you hate money. I just almost <laughs> I just almost bought this thing. Didn't realize it's freaking three hundred dollars. Turds. Turds. The boxes are honestly the coolest part of the figure. Oh, I'm sorry, best part of them. Figures need creativity. All what's of the, it does. What's the hidden? Stupid is the hidden comment on this one. I so, agree. This is goofy. Easy pass. Yeah. So let me just b be honest with you for just two seconds. I really, really, really like the Coca-Cola one that's all white with all the like little logos on it. I like it. I think it's cool. In fact, I, I kind of like both of the Coca-Cola ones. I just will not spend $300 on these. But there has to be uh, somebody out there who's into this. There has to be. Because if a bunch of people put in for that Bob's Big Boy one, you know there are people out there trying to get these also. I don't know. What if he was talking out of his ass and he just, like, made it up? You're not calling Mike Becker a liar, are you? I'm not calling him a liar. I'm just saying, what if? Again, this was something I didn't even realize was uh, coming out today. I Because I, I'm not keeping up with any of this. And I saw it today. I was like, oh, my God, this is actually happening. They're doing this. These are sharks. Like they are our sharks. video a couple days ago. They are sharks. Big They're not farts. Time sharks. They're not farts. Mm -hmm. They are sharks. Um, our scale is fart, good, shart, bad, and needs cleanup. You gotta always gotta clean up a shark, right? I mean, for mm -hmm. the most part, well, you they, clean Fungo up a needs to clean up this bullshit. There has yet to be one that I saw that I thought was worth my money. Uh, if they make a Twizzlers one, no. they might wrangle me and they no, might they pull won't. me in. No, but won't. here's the thing. A lot of people are going to get in on this because there is a chase. You put the chase in there, it gets people excited, gets people worked up. I like the idea of it for those new viewers who have not seen our videos about our thoughts on these. I recommend, if you're interested in hearing them, to search Gasocast Project Fred. Long story short, I think that they should have done this with a smaller, less expensive figure. It, it could have been semi-cool if they were like the size of Dorbs. And Heather... Semi-cool, like a semi-truck or a no, semi, like a semi-boner. Semi yeah. 
A semi boner is not good. Nobody wants a semi. You want to go. Good you either want to go look, all out or not at all. Let me tell you There's something. no in between. Listen. When you have a semi, all I have to do is. I just played music under all of that because no one should be able to hear that, ever. Now, we're really talking about this. And our final story is something we've already talked about in the past, but Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Perlmutter. Oh my God, does it say under his name X-Funko? Did you notice that? That's It crazy. says X-Funko underneath it. That's bizarre, but I guess wherever this was posted, I guess, because it says connect, I'm it assuming this is like... like LinkedIn. Yeah, like one of those things. So he posted it there, and now he has marked himself as X fun He's going as far as saying X funko Why not say unemployed <laughs> or, well, or looking for work? Why are you putting X funko That's very bizarre to me. Jumping ship before it finally goes down. Smart man. Jumping the sinking ship. One day we'll see Freddy Funko himself put up his departing statement. Now that would be news for Funko. That's Bad amazing. Bad news, I think. Bad news. He needed to go. He wasn't cut out for the job. Look at that. That's so, a little bit okay. different. Okay, so let, let me say something. When Mariotti left his CEO position, his statement sound, made it sound like he needed a break for himself. But we heard from other people that they believed that he was shoot out mm. so that could be the same with andrew we don't know we're not there he was and cast out having to fire somebody or having to let somebody go doesn't necessarily look that great but if someone like chooses to depart for personal reasons or whatever that looks better than it's true heather funko saying hey uh we hired you but we made a bad decision peace out so we don't know the whole situation from the inside about this, and I don't think Funko is going anywhere. After 11 plus years of a once in a lifetime journey, my time at Funko has come to an end. When I first started representing Funko back in 2009, because he's been around for a long time, believe it or not, I knew that this company- That's 15 years, FYI. I knew that this company could be a top brand in the industry, and sure enough, we did it. Thank you to all of the wonderful, I guess wonderful people, all the wonder people who had a hand in creating this juggernaut of a brand. Fans, employees, licensors, and most of all, my wife and kids. I wish Funko all the best in the future as I know the brand will continue to deliver pop culture for our fans worldwide. Chairs up, lights out. How, how about, about how like, deuces? Yeah, or peace out, mother Or f you, f you, f you, you're cool you i'm out uh, so you do have a lot of people here that are saying uh even if funko ended one day i'll still love my dragon ball z items because they mean so much to me oh that's so sweet look at this person bringing in a br uh, bright shining light it was a matter of time with him last few years funko lost their magic year after year we've been told it's getting better that has not come to fruition yet have you seen Jar Jar with blue balls. That's my question to you, sir. Even he knows it's over. Laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. Funko ain't Funko ain't how they used to. Everybody's doing that. Mm, Didn't we talk about that the other day? Math isn't mathing. Just here watching the dumpster fire that is Funko. This isn't going to change anything. Why do people think changing CEO just magically is going to make everything all right? Look at Disney. Now you want to change the eyes of the iconic Funko Pop. Laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji, laugh emoji. Good luck. Well, here's what I'll say. If they bring somebody in who actually understands the collector, they understand what the business is about, how collectibles work, how they should not be reproducing, how they should do limited things and make them fun and make them uh, affordable instead of the $300 messes that they're making right now, the, the weird Project Freds. If somebody can come in and sort of make everything right because they wanted to be a lean startup, so act like one. Not be a lean startup that sells a figure for $300 that no one wants. That isn't gonna work, Funko, what are you doing? So the CEO is out the door, maybe they got somebody better who's gonna come through the door. I guess only time will tell. What if I told you that I am taking the CEO's place? I would say that's really great. I wouldn't. I would say, Heather, go out and kill it. I know you got it in you. Because look what you've done for 
Mischief Toys. I don't know if you guys know about Mischief Toys or not, but that's our toy company. And we have so much fun with Mischief Toys. So check us out at MischiefToys.com and uh, sign up for our newsletter over there. And also follow us at Mischief Toys on Instagram. Yeah, we have some new stuff coming soon. I was going to say, instead of a CEO, you're a BEO. Babe Executive Officer. I like that. What would I be? Come on, give, give me something. Poopin' Executive Officer. I thought you were going to say Pecker, but okay, I'll go poop. Because you poop a lot. <laughs> poop in all the time. Yeah, I know. I can't you, stop pooping. You poop all the time. I love it. You go in the bathroom like twice a night for like a half hour. It's my favorite thing to do. You know what? Is this because of the blue balls? No, it's not. I'm processing a lot of the things I've been eating all day. And sometimes it gets stuck in there. So I have to push very hard. Okay, I don't And I'm looking out for hemorrhoids, I, Heather. Yeah, I gotta I be very careful of that. I don't need to, I don't need to. So I use wet naps, Heather. Uh, no, you I don't. I like to wipe myself with a wet you, nap. You don't. Oh yeah, all the time. You, where are they? My secret wet nap spot. You wouldn't know. Gotta watch out for them hemis. Let us know what you think about all these stories and my hemis and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Foolish Morgans, Kathy Roberts, Brad Landis, John DeLuca, Joe B, Roland Roach, Bulldoggy Dog, Dr. Applesauce, Brandy and Keith Via, and Brandon Statton. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing, and without you, we couldn't do half the things we do right here on this lovely channel. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. We post content practically every single day, and we go live every Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern. And this upcoming Sunday, we'll be going live at 8 p.m. with K Dog and Fish of YouTube. I'm sure you already know who they are. If you don't, go and check them out. They're a great YouTube channel, and they're very informative, and they're real fun. And I can't wait to talk to them. I am so excited. We're going to be hanging out, being bros. Yeah. Talking shit. Well, I think we'll be probably be doing that. Yeah, we'll yeah. be talking a lot of shit about this guy. Yeah, I think that will be a lot of fun. Let's call some drama. Let's talk about other YouTube channels that we just don't like. That would be fun. Yeah. Let's I just, do that. I'm gonna... Come and join us at 8 p.m. Eastern this Sunday and join us for a really fun time. Okay, that's it. We love you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.